Hey guys, it's Ginger. Welcome back to my channel. So do I have a collection to show you guys? Holy smokes. This collection is stunning. I'm so excited. Of course, I couldn't wait and I had to put some on my fingies here. So I'll show you which one that is here in a second. But this collection is the August 1st launch and it's their back to school collection. The name of the collection is School of Glam and it's based off of the movie School of Rock. So let me just show you these really quick. We have 10 gels here. Five of them are creams and five of them are sparkles. Now what's unique about these sparkles, I've showed you guys some glitter in the past, a gel polish that got super popular on Instagram. They're the reflective gels. So that is what these are. So when you just have them on normal, they look just super glittery, beautiful. Oh my gosh, gorgeous glitter polishes. But with the flash on, they get super reflective and it even pops a bit of a holographic. So that is what I have on here. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. It doesn't wanna focus because it's so sparkly. The one I'm wearing, is hardcore this one right here it is so pretty so you can see like that silver kind of flash that gets reflective when the light comes on so when the light is off or the flash is off um, it's just a normal really pretty glitter and then with the flash on super reflective absolutely stunning glitters i'm obsessed already and i haven't even swatched them yet so yeah, I'm going to do two coats of the creams um, and I'm going to do two coats of the glitters. I don't know how opaque they'll be. This one was pretty opaque on me with two coats. Um, pay no attention to this hand. <laughs> it hasn't been done yet, but it'll get there eventually. Um, so some of them look to be a little bit more concentrated and some of them look to be a little bit more sparse. Like this one looks a little bit more sparse and this one looks a little bit more concentrated. We'll see how that is on the swatches. And then I'm going to swatch the glitter over the color. They each have a corresponding color. So for instance, these two would be together and that is groupy and rock and blue love these names um then we have let me just match these up real quick for you guys Dude. Um, i believe this one and this one and then this one and this one okay so we have the silver here with um old school and rock in it this is the lightest cream it's almost like a gray and then we have the purple one, which is fancy pants, love it, and cat's pajamas. <laughs> and then that's kind of like a purple taupey kind of, like they're all very um, fall toned, muted, beautiful, kind of grayish shades. And then this one is kind of like a, not really red, but more of like a raspberry kind of color glitter. And that one's hardcore and it's paired up with nice instrument. And then we've got this absolutely gorgeous, like almost kind of olivey sage green color, which is You're a Joke. And it is paired up with Bee's Knees. I love this color so much. It's kind of like a gold. Now, this isn't what you have to pair them with, but this is what I think that the corresponding colors are for them. And yeah, so I mean, like this green would also be beautiful with this silver. So you can mix and match and do them any way you wish, but I am going to, for the sake of this video, match, pair them up with the corresponding color and I'm going to swatch the glitter over the cream, just one coat um, of the glitter over the cream so you can see hopefully the cream through. Like I said, I don't know exactly how concentrate this is gonna be in one coat over the cream, but we'll see. Hopefully you can see the cream through the glitter and we'll see what that looks like together. So, with all that said, and without further ado, let's get to watching.
Okay, there are all the swatches, and now I have got a second set here, and they're sticky, <laughs> of the creams. And then I'm going to do the single coat of the glitter over it. So we're going to start with You're a Joke, which is the green one. And then over that, we're going to pair it with Bee's Knees. And I'm just going to do one thin coat. Now, I noticed while swatching these, some of them like Hardcore, um, Rock and Blue, that have like a silver and like a color glitter in it together. Um, you want to do more of like a kind of like a floating technique of applying them if you push real hard with your brush like you apply your cream gels you're going to get patchy spots um, where the glitter like kind of rubs off with the brush so this is a little bit more of a grainy glitter than some of the other glitters but they are beautiful so so worth it so I'm gonna do just a thin coat and I'm not gonna push really hard so I'm gonna load up my brush just a little bit more than I normally would. And I'm gonna do kind of like a floating technique a little bit. I don't want to scrub the glitter down too hard. I wanna get it as even as possible. Hopefully that makes sense. And I'm not worried about this being too thick and not curing cause it's in kind of like a clear base. So it should cure just fine. Like I said, I just want to try to get it as even as possible and without having to do two coats. So, oops, <laughs> I just run my finger through it. Um, so yeah, as suspected, this one is a bit, a bit more opaque um, of a glitter bee's knees here. There it is side by side. So you can see that green poking through a little bit um, under the glitter but the glitter really does take over. Uh, this glitter is super, super packed with glitters. <laughs> it's so pretty. So there's that one. I'll pop that in the light while we do the next one. Okay, up next is Old School. And it's kind of like a gray, like a taupey gray color. And I'm gonna pair that with the silver, which is rock in it. And this one isn't as concentrated of a glitter um as the gold one was but same thing i'm going to kind of float it i'm not going to scrub it too much so it doesn't get uneven and too patchy um that is so pretty <laughs> so there is that one and rocking it on its own super super pretty and you can pair this like over just about anything Ooh, look how pretty but again if you want to have like I have a gel overlay on my hand which is um which one did I use I used Indonesia which has a pigment to it so I can't really see through the glitter on my nails at all and that's two coats and I did the same thing I kind of did a floating method where it's a little thicker than how you would apply a normal gel polish. Okay, so up next we've got Groupie. <laughs> so cute. And Rockin' Blue. This is beautiful. Such, such a pretty color. Oh my gosh, I love this blue. And again, a little thicker, gonna kind of float it and get it into place and there we go. And that is stunning. So where is Rockin' Blue? On its own, next to it, over Groupie. I kind of like it over Groupie better because it, it just gives it more of a blue punch. And then this has a bit of um, silver glitters in it along with blue glitters. So it going over the blue gives it even more of a blue kick, which I like, I like, I like a lot. All right, and then what's next? Next is the cat's pajamas, which is kind of a purple, like a muddy gray tone purple, really pretty. And then paired with that will be fancy pants. Ooh, I love this one. Of course, you guys know how I am with purple. 
I'm actually kind of surprised. I didn't put this one on my nails and I put the other one on, but that is a stunning combination right there. And let's get fancy pants side by side. Fancy pants on its own and fancy pants over uh, cat's pajamas. <laughs> I had a look. So pretty. So yeah, you're going to get that glittery, bright, pretty, sparkly punch of the glitter over the creams. But by putting it over the creams, it's going to be even more opaque. And feel free to do one coat of cream because they're super pigmented and then do two coats of glitter and then you will not have any like bald patches at all so next up is nice instrument and hardcore which is what i have on my nails this is kind of like a it's it's a little purpley but it's more of a like a raspberry kind of color it's not really red Oh, I didn't have enough on my brush. That one has got some patchy spots. I'm trying not to put it on too thick either. It's a little tricky of a glitter to work with, but once you get it down, it is so worth it. So hardcore on its own. This was the first one I swatched and you can see how patchy it is at the top because I pushed too hard. But yeah. If you want to get it super, super opaque, put the cream down first. And it's stunning. So let me cure that one. And then we will pull all those out of the light here in a second. I am going to do comparisons. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a longer video because of all the little extras here. But I do think I might have some that are, are similar. Um, I don't know if I'll have any dupes or not. I have not seen a glitter like this from Madame Glam. Now they do have some really stunning glitters. Um, I don't know if we'll have any dupes. I really don't think there'll be any dupes, but we might have some similar in tone at least. So let me grab all my swatches and we'll do some comparisons. Okay, and there are all of the swatches of the glitters over the corresponding colors. So I'm just going to set those off to the side. I think we're done with those for this video anyways. Um, I will definitely top coat those and put those out for my clients to look at so they can see the differences. Let's start with the glitters first because I feel like we haven't done glitters in so long. Um, okay, let me find all of the things. Okay, so right off the bat, let's just do hardcore, the one that I'm wearing. Um, it reminds me a little bit of So Delicious which is right here and let me zoom out for you guys and i just also want to mention i'm still using my light that i love so much it's doing an amazing job i love it um so not as close as i thought it would be maybe a little closer with the gel underneath of it but um so delicious it's definitely got more of a pigment to it and then just a shimmer throughout it's not as much of a glitter would be pretty together and let's look at oh, all of these beautiful glitters here all right so nothing is going to be an identical dupe for these glitters. We might have a sim similar shade, um, but these are like very reflective when the light hits it. So it's a different kind of glitter that's in it. Rumor has it, definitely not close. Here's A plus, I love A plus. Um, not quite the same. Uh, here is still single, a little bit closer, but not quite. Who is she? Nope, nope, nope. We've got Glam Pie. Definitely not the same. And on that ring, now we have some really oldie but goodies here. Um, some of those are not Madam Glam. Uh, those ones are not. Okay. I don't know what of these are still available. Um, so keep that in mind. 
Pure Energy, that's definitely a big chunky one. Here is Sparkling Hearts. Oh, that's a good one. Not quite. Fiesta in a bottle. Definitely too purple. Nope. A-list, nope. Um, Captain My Captain, definitely super, super purple. Not really close. Um, we've got Little Sis and Precious Stone. These were from a collection called, oh my gosh, I cannot think of it. Some OG Madam Glam girls help me out here. Something like, not Firefly Collection, something stone collection i can't remember now but anyways i don't believe they're available anymore uh they were gorgeous though paradise nope stardust nope oh earth day every day my favorite okay so no we don't have anything super close to this at all so that is hardcore again like i said i don't think we're gonna get a ton um let's see Bee's Knees, this one kind of reminds me of Stardust, only without the bigger chunks. So let's see how close we are. So uh, kind of similar. It's a little bit more gold. It's definitely a champagne gold. It's not super bright gold by any means or a yellowy gold. Um, I cannot find my gold. Maybe it's on my yellow. Here it is. It's not you, it's me. Boop, here we go. That's more of your yellow gold. And it's this is definitely more of a champagne gold. So this would probably be the closest. Um, however, Stardust has those bigger chunks and it's definitely a different kind of glitter. I think that's gonna be it for Bee's Knees. And then I want to do Rockin' It compared to Paradise the first one I thought of okay so we've got silver magic and paradise paradise is definitely more silver silver magic well they're both very silver um, I guess what I'm trying to say is paradise is more holographic silver and this is more of your like silver silver that's your silver magic I think paradise is probably the closest to rock in it but it's not Okay, Paradise is more opaque. Um, Rockin' It is more sparkly, <laughs> but a little bit more see-through. Uh, it's definitely got more dimension to it. Okay, let's do Fancy Pants. I feel like we're going back to all of the purple ones we just saw earlier. Precious Stone. Hmm, Precious Stone would probably be the closest to Fancy Pants. Definitely got that same look to it. A little different. A little different. Again, I don't believe that's available anymore. I'm so sorry. Um, let's look at these. Any purples that are close? I don't believe so. I think that is it. All right, moving on to the blue. Let's see if I got any blues. Rockin' Blue, so, so pretty. And none of those, none of those, Move those out of the way, none of those, and Sky Melt, a very pretty blue, um, definitely a different kind of shade of blue, and then all of my other blues here, any glittery ones, no, okay, nothing like Sky Melt. And then I have these, or I'm sorry, nothing like rock and blue, not sky melt. Um, Cosmic Sparkle, these are those toppers that go over black, and then I also swatched them over a clear stick just to show what they would look like. Um, none of those really look like this either, so I just wanted to check that. So there are all the sparkles. Now let's do the cream comparisons. Start back here with the blue. This is so pretty, groupy. Beautiful blue. It is coming up just a tiny bit brighter on camera than it is in real life. Think a little bit more gray tone, dusty blue. Um, here we've got Russian blue, which is even more muted and softer. 
Uh, da -da, fresh me up. Now, now these are way more bluey blue. Oh my gosh, I was sure I was gonna have something closer to this. Vitamin, no, vintage blue. Definitely way darker, really? I'm shocked. <laughs> thought I was going to have something much closer. Pure cloud. No. Wow. Um, so next to all these other blues, it kind of pulls just a tiny bit periwinkle. I don't think it has purple in it though, but uh, Fresh Me Up is probably the closest. And yeah, it's, it's definitely more... Hmm, how do I describe that? A little bit darker, and it just pulls a little bit more periwinkle next to the blue. So nothing identical to that. I'm shocked. All right, I'm so excited to do this green. Okay, this is called You're a Joke, and I have a gorgeous green called Night Shift that I love, love, love so much. And I want to compare it to that. So it's much lighter. Oh my gosh, these would be beautiful together. I cannot wait to do fall nails, you guys. Oh, how pretty. So much lighter than that one. Let's see if we have anything closer. Here is Down on Earth, which is a great khaki green. An army green almost. Also would be beautiful with this. Oh my gosh, I want to do green nails. <laughs> so pretty, but not similar um i definitely do not have anything like this so pretty i love this so much okay and then these three here are the most similar to each other in the collection so we've got old school cat's pajamas and nice instrument very i want to say muddy toned purples um, old school is definitely more of a taupey kind of color, taupey grayish color. So I've got my grays out here. The first thing I think of is Pretty Liar when I see old school. So let me find Pretty Liar. There's Tin Man. That's a very nice gray, but it's not taupey enough. Here's Pretty Liar. Okay. So Pretty Liar is a bit darker. Um, close in tone but this is much, much lighter. Let me see if I have any of my um, creams that are close to this, such as, what am I thinking? Ballerina, maybe? Here's Little Toto. That's a, like an ivory kind of cream. This is definitely more gray toned. There's Ballerina. Again, more ivory more on the nude side this is definitely more of a cooler tone gray so i don't have a dupe for this this is so pretty if you guys um have a salon and you're doing nails on customers get this color they're gonna die for it and even if you're just doing it on yourself it's so pretty i love 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 this shade okay let's do cat's pajamas next I'll compare those again to all of these kind of gray toned ones. Um, when I saw this one, I was thinking a little bit of Twilight Lilac, but I think it's lighter. Um, here is Pretty Liar next to Cat's Pajamas. A little bit closer than the last one, but Pretty Liar pulls more of that taupey color. Cat's Pajamas pulls more of a purple tone. Yeah, those are really dark. I really want to see what this looks like next to um, Twilight Lilac. But here is Workaholic. Definitely not similar to that. Mm. Baby Pink. Looks really gray next to Baby Pink. What's all of these ones here? Stylishly Fashionable. You're so vain. Those would be pretty together, but not similar in shade. Um, okay, here we go. Twilight Lilac. Ooh, bumping my camera and my light. 
Okay, yeah, so definitely a lot lighter than Twilight Lilac um, and a bit more gray tone. Not quite as purple, but they would be beautiful together as well. Let me see if there's anything else real quick. No. Where? So the um, December collection, I believe, the one that had all the whites in it, Australian Wonder, which was kind of a little bit purple toned. Mm, no, thinking that might be close, but no, it's not. All right, and then last but not least, we have a nice instrument. This one pulls um, not quite as purple. It's got more of a mauve tone to it. Let's see if we have anything similar. It's gonna be on this swatch ring, I believe, if anything. Vintage pink. Okay, so here we got You're So Vain. Mm, this nice instrument is definitely darker. Um, okay, sorry, I had to uh, go and turn off the alarm clock in the tanning bedroom because somebody left the radio on. Okay, where was I? Oh, yes. Okay, You're So Vain. Definitely darker than You're So Vain. Um, a little bit more purple toned. Then we have Pillow Talk. Hmm... Definitely not the same, but yeah, not really that close. Uh, stylishly fashionable and VIP, which chipped. They're not identical. Let me see if I got anything else over here on these purples. Twilight Lilac, no. Ego, no. Hmm. Definitely a muddy kind of purple, so pretty. Super busy, plum addict, nope. So yeah, again, another unique one. Here is cake for dinner. None of those are similar. Ooh, but you know what, this jasmine tea and your joke would be pretty together. Hmm. Super pretty. Ooh, yeah. I like that a lot. Put this one right over top of this one. What collection was that from? Jasmine Tea, Antique Silver, Extravaganza, Bubblegum Sky, all of those. I don't remember which collection that was from, but yeah. Jasmine Tea, gorgeous. Love that color. Okay, so now that I have a big mess here, that's it. <laughs> collection super unique there's nothing really exactly like it that I have and I think that your clients will go crazy over these for fall I I'm obsessed I love them um, gosh I usually try to pick a favorite I'm not sure if I can I'm not usually a green person but the green is just screaming at me it's just so beautiful I love this one your joke oh my gosh for fall yes I just I can actually see some some other stuff with these two so uh, if you guys are not following me on Instagram I'm gonna pop my Instagram handle up right here it's at ginger sparks go follow me I post all of my manicures and all the sets of nails I do on my clients there I have an idea for this I'm sure you'll be seeing that hopefully soon um, and then bees knees oh my gosh so beautiful again I'm thinking for fall even holiday nails, this for a New Year's set would be super, super pretty. Keep that in mind. Um, you would think that nice instrument would be my favorite, but I don't think it is. I really, I'm, I'm loving this green. They're all really good, guys. If you can, get them all. <laughs> so um, if you want, you can use my discount code. I'll pop that up on the screen as well. Um, and you use the link in the description box below, then enter that code and it will save you 30%. However, if you want, want to sign up for their VIP program, that will save you 50%. You can sign up for the VIP program, get your gels at 50%, order them, and then cancel. You don't have to keep it. 
Um, but what it does is it deducts $29 out of whatever account you use, your, your bank account, your credit card, whatever you decide to sign up with every month. And then it like basically gives you store credit. So it holds that $29 until you're ready to use it. So what you could do is sign up for the VIP program, um, let it accumulate for a few months and then go and get you a big old bunch of gels, <laughs> like a big gel haul from Adam Glam. Uh, and that will get you the most bang for your buck. And even if you just wanted to order like a single top coat and you didn't need a whole bunch of gels with the VIP program, you get free shipping. So you don't, you can just order your top coat and you don't have to worry about paying shipping on that. So that's why I like the VIP program so much. I am signed up for it. Um, I thank you, Madam Glam, so much for sending me these, uh, which is so wonderful. I'm so glad I get to swatch these for everyone, but I still am also a customer for Madam Glam as well. Um, I order my top coats. I pay for those myself, and I do that through the VIP program, and I also will occasionally see a color like that may be going on clearance that I want to grab just because I don't have it. It's kind of like I got to collect them all. And I am running out of room, guys. I don't know where I'm going to put all these polishes, but I'm going to have to figure out something. But yeah, I am a customer of Madame Glam's as well as them sending these to me, which I am super appreciative of. So again, thank you so much, Madame Glam, for sending me these. So I have the opportunity to swatch them for everyone. Um, and I know you guys appreciate that as well and doing all the comparisons. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. I know I'm talking 100 miles an hour, but I'm trying to hurry up and get this video done. Um, and I also want to thank you guys for all the love on the puppy and the uh, little swatch clips at the end of the videos. Um, I know I like putting those there, and I know you guys like seeing those as well. He's growing so fast. I cannot believe it. He is over five pounds now, and he is just the cutest. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. So <laughs> enjoy the puppy videos at the end. And yeah. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye! I know I'm crazy, crazy about you, crazy about you